sure the fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... Hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Old. Prepare for a fight. You are fire, Kratos! It will burn! When you enter the Norn's domain, it can be disoriented. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these Norns? Not personally. Fay is right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Yeah, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. Huh? A trap! Too fast! Use your shield! Uh. Left side, brother! More ranges! Uh. <laughs>
You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Right to the wolves, then. Are we holding off looking for the Norns? What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Is that pure Spartalfime slag? Give it here! Anything for Freya? Kratos? I'll disinfect my tools. to lighten your load. If I don't have it, you don't need it. I'll heat up the forge. It fits. Heading off already? You won't believe it, Mimir. <laughs> this crest belongs to Fjotalun. Fjotalun, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? The wolves lead us here. <laughs>
Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire from above! did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother.
We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made on Widden Guard. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyer of fate. Cruel Strider. Bringer of war. 
weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Oh, she would hope to protect. Oh, she 
Here we go. Council of the Kings. Merry Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Perfect. Let me guess. I'm a long winded know it all and I cannot change. See? You forgot, smartest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that?
Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! official. Oh, my God. 
I tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie to him! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor! You watched his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death until you turned on you! I know, Seagrin. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To grow up? Or to Tanya? No. You always took the side of the powerful men who you used Brother, them. watch out. There's more of them. Even now, you see a pirate god in need, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you always been! Who you are! And it's who you always It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> We're 
here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's. I just realized I might have been on mute the entire time. Oh my gosh. I was playing Call of Duty. Tentatively. I'm so sorry. Finally reached their <coughs> destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. <laughs> oh, he fails. You come to us piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There must be a way to subvert destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable merely make us seem prescient. When my son was born, shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in story craft. We are Everything. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. Hey guys, so I realized I may have muted the entire time and I just feel like an idiot again. But I also want to say Happy New Year. I'm recording when I'm feeling quite a bit better. And yeah, ready that to get space. back into the recording this year. Some big, hopefully, nice things in the works and some new stuff coming your way. And mine. So, let's get into it. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one that Odin uh -huh. hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. You don't like that. Brother, what they said about the boy? Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? 
I will do what I must. <laughs> oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Well, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Hopefully, I'll be speaking more in the next one. And hope that you guys are having a great day whenever you watch this. And thanks so much for all the support.